Uh, my name is Rachel Elder. I am an agricultural lecturer here at Greenmount Campus and I work for the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. Um, I work within the FE sector, so it's principally 16 to 19 year olds that I'm dealing with. Uh, I am involved in two courses, the National Certificate in Agriculture, which is a one-year programme, and the National Diploma, which is a three-year programme. Actually, I studied here as a student, so I did HND here, and at that point, I decided I was maybe going to go and try and get a farm management job. Uh, I thought I'd done enough studying, but I was encouraged by the lecturers here to go on. At that stage, there was an option to top up to degree level at Queen's University, so I took that option, finished off my degree in one year. Luckily enough, there were a number of jobs came up within the Department of Agriculture at that point, went for criteria-based interview and got the job and came basically straight in from my degree born onto the family farm basically and just a great love for agriculture since I was a toddler out on the farm working on the farm just a love for animals and I just knew that my career path was going to be working with animals at some at some level whether it was veterinary nursing agriculture uh, equine any one of those career paths but at the time I just assumed that agriculture would be the best for me it was my own personal decision. There was lots of encouragement, but no pressure. I have three sisters, uh, none of whom have an interest in agriculture at all. So uh, basically, I'm the one that's running the, the farm, run a farm part time as well as, as working here at the college as well. So the death of my father made me see life more clearly. And he was very young when he died. And I just feel it's important to grab every, every opportunity that's available to you. And, live your life to the full and you, you just become more assertive and you know I had to do lots of things that dad would have done you know paperwork and so on so certainly you grew up in a short space of time for sure I had some time off to get things together but there was just we had 40 cattle and almost 500 sheep so I just had to reduce everything down so it's a much smaller number that I have now and it's more uh, a hobby that I would call it really. My day starts at six o'clock. I get up and check the stock and feed stock. I have some pedigree sheep at home, so uh, a lot of management goes into those. Um, I leave for work at 7.30. It's a 60 mile journey for me, one way to get to work. I'm here for nine. I have a nine to five day. I get home at 6.30 and I'm out on the farm again until around about nine. But to me, Going out onto the farm after work is my way to relax and forget about your day and, and anything that's gone wrong during your day. So I enjoy that. It is tiring, but on the whole, not too bad, work-life balance. Uh, at school, I found probably careers guidance wasn't fantastic. Uh, you just picked the subjects that you thought were going to be good for you and the ones that you enjoyed the most. So I did my sciences and maths and English. Um, those subjects certainly have come in useful to me now. Uh, after I finished my GCSEs, I decided to leave school and I went to an FE college and picked up my A-levels there. And from then I discovered Caffrey. When I came then to Greenmount, I was so interested in the subjects and it just gave me the motivation to work so much harder. At school, you know, you just went from day to day and you knew, yes, exams are important and I have to work for exams, but when I came here it was just totally different, you know, really motivated and interested in the subjects.